Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning to everybody who may be listening to this broadcast. We are here around 5 at uh, Cape Ring South for the very latest action from VRroom.org. Um, my name is Dave Higgins, I'm going to take you through the main race uh, our highlights, well not highlights anyway, the main race uh, uh, as, we, as I speak to you. Um, please do, if you enjoy this, subscribe to the YouTube channel up the top there. Um, welcome to VRroom.org, the home of online motorsport. I'll just run through quickly the qualifications for this round. Uh, the uh, winner of the last round, DM, has planted again on pole. So there's two pole positions in a row, and uh, he's hoping to make it two back to back victories here. He's got his teammate alongside him, JB Player, in the other team, uh, Rosso Racing Car, followed by, by GHP, doing a really good, stunningly quali fast qualifying in third. Mad Dog in fourth. VR Badger in the other team, Rosso Car, in fifth. Now, Mad Dog has uh, beat one of the team, Rosso Cars, there in the MM Car. So, Mad Dog McTaz in the MM Car up into fourth. Uh, Mr. Green, who came a very, very brilliant uh, comeback uh, fight in the last round. Please do watch it from round four from Autumn Ring on, on the channel. Um, that was an excellent performance. So Mr. Green planting it for a firm six. No, so not the fastest round here, but hoping to uh, make good and possibly get the win. We've got GT Shadow, very strong performance in seventh. Eighth, Rayman um, in uh, eighth. Uh, ninth is VR Race 42. Uh, the last of the MM cars in uh, Mad Dog McSheep in 10th. Dizzy Mine in 11th. And 12th is Zeus Whiskers. So it's going to be a very long, um, well, it's not that long actually, to be honest with you, race. It's only 12 laps here at Catering. Quite a short, twisty circuit, but very, very good. Usually brings some really close racing. And uh, before I go any further, just going to explain to you and show you a little bit about VR Leagues and how to. Um, how to apply for them and what you need to do in order to be here enjoying this action. So uh, I'm uh, going to do that in a second. So here's how to join in the VR Leagues. Um, you need to uh, join the website and then uh, put your name down for one of these races. Step one, please click to apply for VR race license. Step two, uh, log in for live chat and arrange with one of our VR instructors to meet them on track and uh, they'll help you out and give you a few tips and then sign up for one of the VR leagues as you can see below. Uh, please allow up to one hour for your uh, name to show. If you don't want to see after one hour then please contact GT Mustard and they will sort out your Pierce Network name and put it on. We've got uh, VR Official 1 doing race uh, 1, racing room 1, VR Official 3 doing racing room 2 and VR Official, sorry, GT Mustard doing race official 1. That's his current month's leagues. So now, back to the exciting action on track. So here we are back on track, ready for the start of the race. We'll have 1 of 12, we're waiting for the green lights and we have go, go, go. Uh, VRDM from JB Player, from GHB, from Mad Dog. All the protagonists going down the main straight. Very, very first difficult braking corner. Trail braking a lot into the left hander. Uh, here, the first corner at uh, Cape Ring South. So, very close from all the uh, competitors. Uh, down, keeping it nice and clean, down through what I call the twisty bit of this circuit. There are quite a few configurations for this circuit. Um, this one is the shortest of them for any of you GT5 fans out there. Uh, JB, uh, sorry, DM is uh, down into um, third place at the moment. From uh, JB Player 1 on GHP, so JB Player 1 up, through into, up, up into the lead. DM has uh, done a nice little uh, cutback there on uh, JB, uh, sorry, by, by GHP, and he's back up into second place. So we're on board uh, with DM at the moment. We'll go on board with JB because he's leading the race. We'll look on the back of his car as we go through the twisty bits, the very heavy braking zone. You'll see a big concertina effect as the cars uh, brake very heavily down into this final corner. Very difficult. Um, Sort of double all the way up, very, very wide from JB. He's out, breaks himself, and now something vulnerable to DM. Now DM is up on the inside, so the two Russell teammates side by side. Um, VR Badger sneaking it back there in uh, fifth with Mr. Green slightly ahead. Mad Dog McTaz and the MM car behind. Further down the field, we've got Race 42, followed by Rayman, followed by Mad Dog McSheepy, Whiskers, and Dizzy Mind. So a nice full grid here. Skipping back to the leaders, side by side, the two teammates battling hard now on lap 2 of 12. Uh, down through towards the Fence of Champions. Now we call that the Fence of Champions uh, here at VR Room because of course it relates to the Wall of Champions at the Canadian Gilles Villeneuve circuit. 
Um, and basically it's called Offensive Champions. Uh, here it comes, you'll see it's a tight right left flick, very slow on entry. And if you don't get that first entry point right, you end up in the Champions fence on the right. Um, basically everybody's been in it. Anybody who's anybody in this game has been in that fence. So it's very difficult to avoid, but all the guys, the main protagonists got around very, very well there. Nice and clean from all the boys, and that's really good to see. So, current race order is uh, DM from JB, from GHP, from Green, from Badger. Now, JB and DM are pulling out a gap here. We're on the back of, uh, oh, very, very close, Mr. Green, not giving an inch here to GHP. Will we see an outbreak into the uh, bottom corner as we watch them go around? Very, very close stuff. Uh, now, um, Mr. Green's gone wide, so Badge is going to be up the inside. VR Badge up into fourth place against Mr. Green, but they touch as they rub up the wall. That's so, so close stuff. We're on board with GHP, but we want to watch Green and Badger just behind. We'll go on Mr. Green's roof cam. He's going to flick one out, just narrowly avoiding, uh, avoiding Badger behind, so to say. And that looks fantastic sight. Oh, Badger, a bit of a nudge there on GHP, knocks him wide, but neither car has had damage. Now, it'll be interesting to see if we get any uh, yellow flags here. There were no yellow flags in the last race, which is generally a very, very good sign. Um, it is a very, very good racing room that we have here at the moment um, in uh, League Racing Room 1. Uh, please do, uh, as I showed you on that uh, very, very brief guide um, just before we started here, please do um, go down and sign up and have a look at our website, see what you reckon. Um, those three easy steps to come on board here. Um, you even get assigned your own instructor so that you can uh, get on board, have a chat and uh, work through setups, etc. Just to give you that little bit of a fair, um, a fair start to, uh, to the racing here. Very enjoyable stuff it is indeed. Um, so, uh, current race order is DM leading from JB Player One, from Mr. Green, from GHP, from Mad Dog McTaz. And at this early stage, on lap 3 of 12 here at Cape Ring, just as we see that uh, DM is going slightly defensive with his teammates. It's good to see the two teammates battling really well, to be fair, as they go around there. Uh, Mr. Green is uh, trying to close up a little bit. It'd be worth again looking just at this early stage at the live timings. So um, it's uh, three tenths of a second from DM from JB Player One. The fastest car on track at the moment is DM, he says with bated breath. Yes, it is DM, followed by JB Player. DM's on a 126.4, JB's on a 126.6, and Mr. Oh, it's just switched round. Mad Dog McTaz in the MM car, now he's got his tyres sorted out, is second quickest. Although, having said that, no, no, sorry, we've just had a 126. 0.02 posted by Mr. Green, so Mr. Green again on the charge. Now we saw this on the last race, he was on a very, very big charge at Autumn Ring and managed to catch DM up on a sort of a six or seven lap stint. Uh, half a second a lap quicker as we go past the Fence of Champions and he was nearly into it for DM. Uh, JB seeing that coming and hanging back a little bit to be fair. But uh, very well played boys as you uh, made it round there. Now we'll go on board with Mr. Green just to see him catching these two guys in front on his roof cam. And you can see the two uh, Rosso racing cars up ahead. Now, crucially, what will happen there is the two Rosso cars. We already know Mr. Green's the fastest on the circuit, but those two Rosso cars are battling each other hard, as you can see. It's side-by-side -side action. Now, Mr. Green, at the moment, doesn't have to cope with that. He's got a little bit of a gap to Mad Dog McTaz in the uh, first of the MM cars. So Mr. Green will just be able to concentrate, as he is doing, on pumping in really quick lap times. And already you can see he's visibly closer to uh, JB on the back of JB's car. There he is. So back on board with Mad Dog. Oh, Badge, you're looking like he's having a bit of a sneaky uh, dive there on uh, GHP. Let's just have a look at that one. I saw his nose snick out like he was going to have a little dive. I don't know whether he'll go into that in the first corner. Uh, he's decided to be uh, wiser than that and he's backed off a little bit. Let's look a bit further down the pack. VR Race 42 is uh, being chased down hard now by um, Rayman on GT Shadow. And there are a few cars much, much further back. Um, worth looking at that, I think, in a moment, guys. I will, as we come to the fence of, cha of champions, and we'll just see this on board from uh, GT Shadow's front of his car. And you'll see what I mean about it. It's a very, very, you have to brake really early, stick the car in, avoid the, the hump on that curve, and it won't spit you out and chew you into the fence on the right. Uh, so side by side from VR, and oh, and at the side there, we've got uh, Rayman trying to plant it. A lot of corrective steering on his car. 
Uh, now, uh, GT Shadow will be getting a massive toe down this really, really long straight. And if we just click to the outside shot, you'll see what I mean. He's going to start getting sucked in. Now, Rayman's gone really wide. It's almost like he's yielded that position. I wonder if Rayman's picked up a little bit of damage. I was going to go on board with Rayman. Uh, no, he's not at all, but he's drifted wide. Um, I wonder why. I have to ask him in the forum later on uh, for that one, uh, folks. So, meantime, back to the leaders. We've got uh, DM, uh, who is being very close by his teammate he's on the outside JB player one on the outside DM on the inside in the meantime still Mr Green catching them hand over foot DM defensive JB going for the cutback surely a little bit of sideways motion from JB's car as he plants the throttle earlier now a cutback for those of you who don't know is when you go slightly wide into the corner uh, and you apex the corner a little bit later than you normally would but crucially because you've got the car pointed in you can put your foot down and uh, that gives you uh, better traction but it also gives you that increased speed difference down the straight so you might end up doing even one or two miles per hour more than the, the guy in front and that does make a lot so round the fence of champions for lap 6 of 12 we are halfway through the race now crucially look at Mr Green in the background he has caught them no end now I wonder if we can get a timing on that Mr Green is only 1.4 seconds off DM now so that's much closer than he was and as you can see it's right all over the back of JB player so it's very tight here at the uh, top <coughs> excuse me at uh, Cape Ring South uh, dropping back is Mad Dog McTaz a little bit further down the field there's Mad Dog doing a very good job holding forth of the MM car and I believe Mad Dog made a mistake last time of running a slightly um, duff tyre compound which didn't help him round um, autumn ring. He was on sports but I believe it was sports hard and not sports soft. Uh, do correct me if I am wrong on that one so many apologies if I am. But um, it's, it, you know, it's a crucial little thing that and obviously he made a mistake and he paid the price so he wasn't particularly doing heavily there but actually looking up we've got Mr Green on the inside I missed that I was snoozing and losing. Mr Green has taken JB player so it's a three way ding dong at the top of the pack. The first, second and third, these boys are looking very rosy for the podium as we're on lap 7 of 12 now. Very good circuit, this one very flowing circuit, uh, but very easy to make a mistake and there's not much in the way of runoff areas. Now DM's on the inside of Mr Green, unbelievable. Oh, it's JB Player 1, sorry, on the inside of Mr Green, will he make it stick? Side by side through the fence of champions, Mr Green doesn't embed it in the side though. That was scary stuff, very scary stuff, but very good stuff. Um, if there's one to watch, I think it is Mr. Green. Um, very, very impressive in that first round. He had to miss the first three, but very impressive in that fourth round with that comeback drive. Um, I, anyone watching this for the first time, I urge you to rewind time and watch that. That's round four on the same YouTube channel, the race before this one, and watch uh, Mr. Green's comeback through the field. I won't tell you if he won or not, but it was a fantastic race to watch. So, in the background, GHP is catching McTaz up. On the back of McTazza's car, GHP decides not to plant it down the inside. Uh, so, uh, and behind him is VR Badger, who's pulled clear now of VR Race 42. So as they come down the straights, these two guys electing to dive for the left-hand side of the circuit. Um, now, what's happening there, basically, is Mad Dog is trying to break the toe a little bit from uh, GHP. So he's back to the outside of the circuit now, um, no harm done at all, and he's trying to... Uh, negotiate his way around that corner so uh, very very close stuff now Badger is by himself GT Shadow and Race 42 having a uh, ding dong I think <coughs> Rayman is still in on that as well so it's a three way tight three way battle between Race 42, GT Shadow and Rayman we'll stick on this one for a little bit we're on lap 8 of 12 um, so uh, Oh, it's just bumper to bumper, isn't it? I wonder if they'll sustain this round, the uh, Fence of Champions. I hope they do, because it's looking like it might go three ways. Uh, VR Race is going very defensive. Uh, GT Shadow on the outside. It is two abreast the Fence of Champions. And oh, it very nearly binned it there. Very nearly binned it. Very dangerous stuff to do that, but very brave stuff. But it has lost him the place. So unfortunately, GT Shadow is back down now. He was up in eighth. So it's a uh, pretty good uh, ding dong here for seventh, eighth, and ninth. Uh, everyone else is by the self, so we'll just click to the leaders again on lap 8 of 12. They'll be coming up to the heavy braking zone as we speak. In fact, they've just gone round it. Onto the main straight, and it is three abreast. Three abreast down the main straight at Cape Ring. We've got uh, DM on the right, JB on the left, and they're overtaking Mr. Green. Uh, Mr. Green's obviously got uh, less of a drag off or been unable to put the power down. Now he's getting the slipstream from JB player. Will Mr. Green dive onto the inside? 
Uh, so JB going defensive, DM giving uh, Mr. Green plenty of room on the outside there. And Mr. Green sustains his position, but he's going to have to be careful because he's got the two uh, Rosser Racing cars on the inside of him now. And he has lost out slightly, he's back in third place, and we've got DM back in the lead from third. So this really could go any way, ladies and gentlemen. It's either going to go all the way to the finish like this, or it's going to be a massive, massive accident. I hope the guys can keep it clean. And to be fair, here at VRroom.org, we usually do. Um, what good action we've seen today. Oh, and into the fence of champions. That was Mad Dog McTaz. I'm going to have to check out his car, ladies and gentlemen. i have to go to the back there. He did clip that fence of champions. There was a cloud of smoke, but he's managed to come off unscathed. Now, that has put him... Oh, and wide for Mr. Green as well. It's all happening at the moment. It's all happening. Um, but Mr. Green sustained it. Now, Mr. Green, I've got a clip to him because he will have m mucky tyres. He'll have dirty tyres, and I don't know whether he's going to have the braking performance into this corner. And with JB Player tied up behind him, he's going to be going defensive and braking late. Let's just see what happens. Will he lock up and go straight on? Or will his tyres have uh, dried themselves out? And it looks like they have. So, luckily for him, he had plenty of grip left on that set of tyres. Um, it really does affect you here, of course. Like at any circuit, if you go off circuit, your tyres are going to get dirty. They're going to offer you no grip for the next few corners, at the very least. So, we're on lap 10 and 12. Two laps to go. Um, and uh, again, diving for the inside. JB Player 1. Now, look at Mad Dog and GHP in the background. They're catching up like hand over fist. They may be on it and may have a chance to sneak into third or even second here. So it's going to be a five-way battle up the front. Lifetime is again. Fastest lap of the race to Mr. Green, 25.622, followed by GHP, 25. So the leaders are not as fast. Uh, this is very, very close stuff. We have got 2.4 seconds covering the top five cars and 1.8 seconds covering the top three. I don't think I needed to tell you that on account of how close it was, but in the meantime, JB has dropped back a slight bit, as you can see. Uh, let's get back on board with the front of the pack. So again, Mr. Green wide. Again, that's going to pick him up uh, a bit of uh, rubbish on his tyres. So let's just see if he's going to be late and brave on the brakes. Now, they do appear to have uh, padded out a little bit uh, from, lap, uh, sorry, from position 1 through to position 5. There's quite a big gap between those cars. Let's just listen to this braking phase. Good, a little squeal of the tyres, but uh, oh my word, Mr. Green had the first apex a lot tighter. Both of those, all five of those cars were in slightly off circuit, not the end of the world. They've not involved themselves in, in any dangerous uh, sort of uh, re entering the circuit, of course, very strict on the rules here. Uh, the race marshal, of course, watching avidly over all the action throughout the field. Uh, I wonder if the uh, three wing ding dong for seventh, eighth, and ninth is sorting itself out. It's still really, really, really close. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Any one of those three could um, take seventh place. And of course, you get some reasonably weighty points for seventh place. VR Badger is off, but by himself, so there's no panic there. GT Shadow uh, is on the back of uh, that uh, train, of course, just behind the, the one we've just been mentioning, which is just behind Rayman. Dizzy Mind by himself. Mad Dog McSheepy in the MM car is by himself. And Mr. Whiskers is by himself, but I'm sure racing hard trying to catch up Mr. Sheepy. Very wide there, a bit of drifting going off by the looks of it. Oh, and he's coming to the pits. He has got damage, so um, he's coming into the pits here on uh, lap 10. Uh, we'll see his pit crew working. Um, I won't stay with that for too long, but you'll see the pits working. And what will happen is he's got front, front right-hand side damage that will get repaired as soon as they remove the tyres. And then uh, I'm sure they'll work very quickly. No, he's electing not to pit stop. It looks like he's pulled out of the race. Great shame then for Mr. Whiskers uh, here at uh, Cape Ring South. Now, here we are. We're going to have a ding dong for the last lap. We have approximately 1 minute 25.9 seconds between us and the next VR room winner in the Cappuccino League in room racing room uh, 1 here. So it's uh, DM from Mr. Green from JB. No idea who's going to win this. All it will take is a slight mistake or one of them in the, in the wall of champions. Looking up on the inside is Mr. Green. Uh, JB is still right behind it again, though. DM will not be too concerned about defending around here. Very, very easy to defend because you can just stay on your racing line. It's very difficult for anyone to get past. Overtaking up here into the fence of champions is an option, but a very, very dangerous one. Now, I wonder if uh, Mr. Green will plant it down the inside. Let's have a look. He's going for the outside. DM is covered off the inside very, very cleverly. 
A nice early break from ZM, keeping it nice and precise. JB a little wider, just clipping that fence of champions in the background. DM going defensive, um, uh, Mr. Green trying to do the switch back on him now, uh, JB will get the, uh, he's got an extra drag here, JB is very very close to Mr. Green, and we may see JB be able to slipstream on the outside, it is a longer route, but you can do it provided you get the inside line for the next corner on the left hander. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, so it's all going to be about breaking into the last corner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who wins this race. Who's going to be the uh, latest and the greatest on the brakes? DM will have to cover it off and go to the inside, and he has done so. Mr. Green has got to go around the outside and try a cutback, which he is trying. Will DM cover that off on the inside? No, he's tried the cutback, but DM is backed out of it, and DM has got the lead back again. And it's a big battle for second place. I've no idea who's going to get it on the line. JB Player is just ahead of Mr. Green. JB Player just ahead of Mr. Green. And we'll see that JB Player did do it. So it's DM. One, JB Player two, Mr. Green three, Mad Dog and GHP in fourth. Fifth place then. Coming in in Badger. Now this three-way ding-dong has been won by Race 42. Followed by Rayman. Followed by GT Shadow. So... The podium for VRDM, back-to-back -back victories and back-to-back -back pole positions. JB Player won, and some hefty points there again in second place. And Mr. Green proving his worth here at Cambridge South. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you very, very soon for race six at the same place, but reverse grid order, so that should be very, very exciting.